Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to share the gospel. And I'm gonna be sharing with you the easiest way to share the gospel. So for me personally, I grew up in the church, grew up hearing the gospel, but there became a point when I realized that I wasn't really confident in my ability to clearly communicate the gospel to someone else until I came across this really helpful framework that breaks it down and makes it easy. And so I'm gonna share that framework with you today. Before we get into it, we have to ask the question, what is the gospel? So the Greek word for gospel is euangelion, and it simply means the good news. And I have an entire video really breaking down what is the gospel if you want to dig more into that in detail. But in this video, I'm simply going to lay out this framework with you for how to share the gospel concisely in less than three minutes. And so the framework I'm going to be sharing is called the Romans Road to Salvation. And along this road, there are four stops you need to remember, four verses. And so we're going to get into that before we do. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's a huge way that you can help to support my channel. And then give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. So here we go, Romans Road to Salvation. The first stop or reference is Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Next stop, Romans 6.23. And the wages of sin is death. Next stop, Romans 5, 8. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Back up to Romans 6, 23. And the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Final stop, Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So that's the Romans road to salvation. And I want to end with a little bit of encouragement on sharing the gospel. In Romans 10, 14, Paul asks the question, how will people come to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And the answer to this rhetorical question is they won't. We who know Jesus must go and share the good news of Jesus in order for others to hear. Romans 10, 17 says, for faith comes through hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. I think that it's human nature that whenever something exciting or good happens, our instinctive reaction is to share it. It almost feels like good news isn't complete until we share it. If you get a promotion, you're probably gonna call up and tell your friends. If you get engaged, you're probably gonna post that ring shot. If you buy a new house, you're probably gonna invite people over to share in it and to show them your new home. Good news isn't complete until you share it. And as Christ followers, we have the very best news in the entire world. And the most natural and necessary response is to share it. I hope this video helps you feel equipped to do so. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. How old were you when you first heard the gospel message? And I'm gonna be sharing my answer to that question as well in a pinned comment below. I look forward to reading yours. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.